Hey what's up guys, it's SS Modern Warfare here, Gamer Type Banjo Chicken and welcome to another video. So in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to burn copies of your Xbox 360 games um, to play in your flashed Xbox 360 consoles. Um, you definitely need a flash drive to do this and I have three hardware tutorials on flashing three different Xbox drives and I'll put them in the description if you don't have your DVD drive flashed in your retail Xbox already. Um, so. Uh, two tutorials here. One is going to be this tutorial is going to be flashing, uh, burning. I mean, older games, older Xbox 360 games from 2005 to around about the middle of 2011, um, because that's two th middle of 2011 or near the end of 2011 is when they introduced the XGD3 game security, which they use in pretty much all the new games now, and it makes it a lot more difficult to burn games, whereas the older ones from 2005 up to the middle of 2011, they all use older security and it's much easier to burn games. So I'm going to be doing this tutorial, 2005 to 2011 games, and the next tutorial is going to be 2011 games to 2014 games and onwards. So before I start, I should say that this is for backup purposes so that you can make backup copies of your original games so that when your original game gets scratched or damaged um, to the point where it can't play you'll have a backup copy of the game that you're able to play in your flash drive because <laughs> I'm sure that none of you guys would uh, use this for piracy of course so uh, yeah anyway first of all you're going to need to get the discs you're going to need Aeon Plus uh, dual layer are the ones I use but most people will recommend verbatim discs as they are the best. Uh, you need DVD plus RDL for dual layer, 8.5 gigabytes. Um, the best ones are the verbatim ones that are made in Singapore and those are the ones that most people will recommend. However, for older games, XGD2 security games and AP 2.5 and older wave security, um, so from 2005 to 2011, you don't really need for buttons um, because you know older cheaper media will work fine like Aeon Plus so Aeon Plus discs these are much much cheaper and um, they're not as good quality but they work fine for older games like HDD2 games so go ahead and get these ones if you'd rather because uh, they are a lot cheaper the only thing I'll say if you are going to get these Aeon Plus discs make sure you go for the the ones that do not say printable pr printable ones so um, these ones that are blank on the top here and they say printable in the title don't go for these because they are pretty bad I mean I've had bad experiences with those ones but the ones that have the Aeon logo on the top and say gold edition on them like these ones up here and um, that one there and these ones here as long as they don't say printable they should be fine. Um, those are the discs that I use. So once you've got your discs, you're going to need to get a, uh, the game because you can't copy it from the disc to uh, the hard drive and then burn it from the hard drive to another disc. At least I don't think you can. Um, I'm not a big expert on this or anything, but I think you're going to have to download it from the internet. So to get it, there's different ways. I mean, you can type in the name of the game into Google and um, say COD World at War for example is what we're gonna we're gonna use COD World at War Xbox 360 ISO oops uh, Xbox 360 ISO and just try and find I mean there's one here on Xbox 360 ISO.com and you go ahead and download it the only thing I'll say about xbox360iso.com is all the links on here seem to be premium sites now uh, where you have to pay to download which nobody really wants to do of course. Uh, I don't know why they've introduced that. You used to be able to download from free uh, download sites like Mega NZ and Mediafire whereas now you have to download from OTE Upload and other premium websites which uh, is pretty disappointing but if that's the way Xbox 360 ISO want to do things then people are just going to stop using this website uh, but yeah so if you can't get a free download on 
Xbox 360 ISO, then try the Pirate Bay. And I know the Pirate Bay is blocked in a lot of countries, so uh, if it's blocked in your country, then use ukbay.org. Um, and you just click the ship and it takes you to the Pirate Bay. There we go. And when you get the Pirate Bay loaded up, search for the game. Um, so, you know, if you get a bunch of links, make sure you actually say Xbox 360 in the title, of course. And make sure you go for PAL if you live in the United Kingdom or Europe. Uh, they use PAL. In the US, they use NTSC. Some games are region free, which means they'll work for both. Um, so just make sure you get the one correct to your region. Um, so here's a region free one. Uh, you could give that one a go. Get this torrent. Make sure you have a uh, download client like uTorrent to download the torrents. So anyway, when you get your game downloaded, you'll end up with a disk image file or a and a image file. Now the image file might not be there. If you don't have this small one kilobyte image file, don't worry about it because we'll be running it through a program which will create that image file if it's not already there. Um, if you downloaded from xbox360iso.com, you'll probably get your games in parts like this where there's a bunch of different parts. So just right click and extract part one and it'll go through and extract every one. Uh, you need WinRAR or 7-Zip. I'm not sure if 7-Zip works actually. I think you need WinRAR um, to extract these. And once you have them all extracted, you should end up with something like this. Where you've got your 7 gig ISO and your little image file there as well. Now, next thing you're going to do is open up ABGX360. Now this is also going to be linked in the description, free download. Um, click this uh, button here to browse for a file. Open the Call of Duty World at War ISO and make sure it is the ISO dot ISO that you are opening in this program. Uh, it shouldn't let you open anything else anyway. Um, go to auto fix and set it to level 3. Click the launch button and as you can see here it's going to go through and apply all these checks and stealth fixes to the ISO. Um, now you're looking for most of this stuff to go green. You want to make sure it says the SS looks valid, DMI looks valid. You may need the basic stealth check to pass. If that doesn't pass then you've got a serious problem. So make sure the basic stealth check passes. Um, all the video CRCs should match as well. And to tell if the game is definitely uh, older than XGD3, it's not an XGD3 game, then if you go down here where it says the video partition matches uh, known data, which is second wave, which is fine, that's older. Some will say stuff like wave 1, wave 2, wave 3, that's all older as well. But if it says XGD3 in here, then that's a newer game and you're going to have to watch uh, the next tutorial for burning XGT3 games. Uh, wait for this to finish. You can see it says any DVD style corruption was not detected. Don't worry if that doesn't show up. As long as all these CRC matches and you get the basic stealth check passing it should be fine. If, you've, if you get any red, um, don't worry about that one as well. That doesn't matter. There's different things. You'll get yellow, which is okay. You'll get green, which is great. You'll get uh, blue, which means it's downloading something that was missing. Um, so make sure ABGX is connected to the internet as well, uh, because if it's not connected to the internet, it's not going to be able to download the files that are missing. So yeah, if it's blue, it's downloading something. Um, and if, it, if you've got any red, then there is a problem. But what you might find is with any red things that show up, uh, they may it may go and fix it anyway. It may have actually fixed those things that are showing up in red. So to tell, you just press enter to exit and then click launch a second time. And hopefully those things that were red are now green and it will all be fine. And you can go ahead and burn this to a disk. 
Um, that should be on level three. Don't know what happened there. And um, yeah, that's all you need to do. So if it's still if they're still red, then you're gonna have to download a different ISO because that one is no good. Uh, but hopefully that doesn't happen for you. So when you get the basic stealth check passing and everything's fine, go ahead and open up Image Burn. This is an older version of Image Burn that I'm running because I get more success burning XGD3 games with this older version. Um, but XGD2 games, the newer version, should be fine to use as well. So I'll put the link to where you can download this in the description. So go ahead and click Browse for a file. Open up not the ISO, the 7 gig one, don't open that one. You want to open the smaller one kilobyte file. Uh, you want that might be ticked. Uh, make sure that is unchecked. You don't don't want to verify. It's a waste of time um, verifying. Set the write speed to times four uh, or two point four. Uh, but two point four is going to take like forty minutes to burn. And on older games, you're fine to burn at four times write speed, which will take about 20 minutes. Um, you don't need to adjust any settings on image burn for older games like this. And yeah, you just click the right button and it will start burning the disk. Make sure obviously you have a disk in the disk tray, otherwise this is going to be blanked out. But once it's ready, you just click this button to write and that is it. It will go ahead and start writing the sectors. And once it's finished, you can take the disc out, put it into your flash drive and play the game. So that is how you burn older games uh, for people who were asking on those on those uh, hardware tutorials for flashing the disc drive. So that is how you actually burn a backup copy of a game. And yeah, stay tuned for the next video, which will be burning newer games, which I'm sure uh, the majority of people would rather uh, would want more than this. But uh, Go ahead and check that video out which will be up soon hopefully so anyway guys like subscribe um comment if you have any questions and i will see you guys in my next video